Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. So welcome back to our next lecture. So today I, I continue the same, uh, same one what uh, we had uh, yesterday. So again, so we are still in the linear advection equation. And now here, how to, how to make, so how to, so here adding some type of, numerical diffusion yeah so what does it mean so here we have seen in the, the last simulation that if you write in the full lagrangian form so there is no any numerical diffusion so we got exact solution if you have less point or more point so we are very much in accurate solution but what we have seen that once we have this ALA formulation, so arbitrary Lagrangian Euler in formulation, what we have seen that, so we just have the splitted this partial derivative into two parts, so that on the right hand side we got the, the partial derivative. Here in the fully Lagrangian form, there is no any partial derivative. So we do not have to do any numerical approximation of partial derivative. But here in the ALA formulation on the right hand side, we have the partial derivative of rho. So here, so we have to approximate the partial derivative. So since we have done in the first order, so we have seen in uh, the numerical simulation of the, the numerical ap approximation in the, for, the, the of derivative, the, we have seen that first order approximation has larger error than the second order, yeah? So therefore, this first order approximation was not accurate enough. Therefore, we got it, the numerical diffusion. So now, I want to add the numerical diffusion here, so which is the epsilon, so adding So adding numerical diffusion, it means now in this, in this uh, scheme, I just add the numerical diffusion plus epsilon del 2 rho i by del x square. Yeah? So add epsilon del 2 rho by del x square in ALE. formulation where epsilon is positive and epsilon is capital order of delta x. So all opening scheme have numerical diffusion and this diffusion is always order of delta x. So that you can see if you look the classical finite difference uh, method there you see the analysis there you can find that part. So this part epsilon del 2 rho by so del x square if you remember that our advection diffusion equation so diffusion part is always the second order derivative so this is the numerical this is the numerical diffusion. 
Now we add in the ALA formulation the numerical diffusion and then we solve this as with the central difference formula and then we check that our earlier central difference formula was giving the oscillation and now whether it gives us even with a very continuous smooth solution now after adding the numerical diffusion whether we are able to stabilize the oscillation and this is the one part now once we know this if we are solving we can solve the the numerical diffusion so it is second order derivative now we can directly handle just it is a continuation that we can directly handle the advection diffusion equation so again now our advection diffusion equation is so what is the advection diffusion equation So what we had in our finite difference scheme, we had used d del two by del two rho y del x square. Yeah. So we had the numerical diffusion here. So d is a positive diffusion coefficient. So you can imagine that. Uh, this is just like when you have when you have the initially the high concentration for example if you have the if you look like in a chimney here so it produces a smoke so there is maybe the wind velocity blowing up then what will happen that you have this velocity wind velocity is a this is the convective part and then this is the diffusive part and then it will Finally, it decays, it goes down. Yeah. So this type of application, what do we have? So even if you just solve, you know, if you drop some something in the water, and then there also you see the diffusion. If you put some uh, color, then you also see the diffusion. There are similar. You can solve. One can solve this uh, convection diffusion equation in different uh, mixing of the different process. So now we do not go up to that one, just it is just giving you where we apply this equation, giving you the idea. Now our Lagrangian form is since it was zero before, but now it is d del 2 rho y del x square. So our the characteristic equation is again dx by dt is equal to a. And d rho by dt is not more constant, but it is d times del 2 rho by del x square. In the discrete form, oh sorry, it was uh, not 0. So in the earlier section, uh, the, the lecture, it was a, because it is just like this, so not a 0. So dx i by dt is equal to a, and d rho i by dt is equal to here, not 0, it is d del 2 rho i by del x square yeah and now our explicit Euler scheme gives that x i n plus 1 is x i of n plus delta t times a our rho i n plus 1 is not anymore rho i of n plus delta t times d times del 2 rho i by del square. So this is our numerical scheme for advection diffusion equation. So this is ALA formulation with the addition with the numerical diffusion coefficient here. So the difference between this one and this one is that there is no first order partial derivative here, but there is the first order partial derivative here. Now, what do we get? Since we have to compute the second order derivative here, 
and now the approximation of the first order derivative also will become the second order because we in order to get second order derivative we have to extend our the Taylor expansion up to order 2 yeah so in this case when I had uh, only the abrective part so here I have done not the second order approximation but only the first order approximation there I was getting numerical diffusion but now I have added the numerical diffusion in order to stabilize and then I compute the second order approximation I compute the first order derivative in the second order approximation together with this one so therefore I I expect that I get much better resolution in this adding the numerical diffusion than without adding just with the upwinding so now we, we check in our next uh, numerical uh, implementation so just take both solution then which compute compare with the uh, we compare this one with the exact solution and then uh, also without numerical diffusion with diffusion with central difference we just compare okay so let us uh, now since what we had that uh, in our simulation that we have seen if we solve the linear advection equation with the with this uh, uh, central difference so let us run again so one more so we get a numerical oscillation so if I use the the upwind scheme so let me comment this linear function here so my velocity is 1 so I have 100 points so now let us see so upwinding has given us the here on comment the comparison of exact solution once more the upwinding is more more diffusive and now what I do that I add in this upwinding scheme so I add this uh, numerical diffusion term here So when I add the numerical diffusion term, what do I have? So I have to compute the first of this first derivative also with the second order, and the second order the derivative also with the second order. But still, I'm doing now with the central difference. And now what I have to add in the end that the epsilon times delta t times rho x x. So so here, yeah, sorry, one more term here. So I need now, so when I add that, so I have plus delta t times epsilon, yeah. So delta t times epsilon, so this is the term. So what is my epsilon? I have defined epsilon as, for example, let us give me the epsilon is equal to delta x. Now we run the code. I change the folder. Yeah, we got, yeah, now with the central difference also, we got the stable solution. Yeah. So before with the central difference, what we had, we had the instabilities. But now when we add the central difference, we add a numerical diffusion, we get a stable solution. But this solution is same as the upwinding scheme, what we had more or less, maybe a little bit better, because the upwinding scheme has a numerical diffusion. Now with the central difference, I add the numerical diffusion, I am getting the same solution. So again, once more, that when I have my the linear advection with the upwinding, so I had 
similar solution. So similar diffusion. Now I now what I do, let me reduce my delta x, the, the epsilon, yeah. So I let, maybe the epsilon was much larger here. Let me take half. So order of delta x means not exactly the epsilon is equal to delta x. So it is a little bit better. So let us try maybe 1 by 3. It should be even better. So where is it? It is uh, epsilon is so delta x by th 3. Maybe I may get the instabilities. Let us check. Yeah, that is too small. So I cannot select too small delta x. Yeah, too small. Uh, the epsilon, so epsilon like I think delta x by 2 was fine, but now if I do the resolution here instead of 100, let me make 400. My exact solution also plot with the 400 point. So I am very close. To the exact solution yeah so this is the case what we have uh, with the adding numerical diffusion in our upwinding in our ala formulation so in the if i do the upwinding in order to get a stabilized solution i just compute the derivative with the upwind but if i want to remain with the central difference so what i do that uh, so i add the the viscous, the artificial viscosity, or I add the numerical diffusion here. So, in the order, the diffusion coefficient is order of delta x. So, here in this case, I have taken delta x by 2. Then I just add this diffusion term. Then we get the central difference scheme stable. So, if even if I do the opposite direction, let me take the minus here, the velocity goes to the minus direction. Yeah, it is a little bit uh, the here, little uh, still. I think the delta x by two was little small. I made a mistake. So it was minus. It <laughs> it is too large. So I took not minus one. I took minus so not minus one, but minus twenty one. Therefore, the it, it was giving the instabilities, it was very fast, 21 meter per second. So it's fine. So even I can give maybe if let us try with a velocity of 2 minus 2 here. Though it is also the fine. So with the end of the profile, what we had. Yeah, so now end of the profile, if I want to keep a linear, what let us check, what will happen? If I have my linear profile, the, well, the, the initial condition, so if it is negative, I have 1. If it is 0 to 1, I have 1 minus x. Yeah, otherwise 0. Let me comment uh, exact solution was, const I have just constructed the exact solution for the different initial value. So let me comment it. So I made a small mistake here. Or oh, here, one more. Let us copy from the old. It is. So it should be fine here. Oh, it is. Uh, let me break it. Where was it? 
it was a different, uh, I copied a different initial value here. So it should be like this. And we on comment. Yeah, it should be fine now. So, so there are, there are little technical mistake or just uh, when you do the copy paste. So it is uh, moving. It is still diffusive because I have added some diffusion here. So it is t is equal to minus 2 here, the velocity. Now if I give the positive velocity plus 1, the wave should move from left to right. So it goes from left to right. So now I come to the next uh, that with the, the fully Lagrangian form of the advection diffusion equation. So how it is now. So here again the same process as before. So let me take my velocity is uh, 1. So I take the diffusion D is equal to 0 0.001 that we can play. So let me give like 0 0.1. What will happen in the beginning? So other thing I keep it constant. So this is my initial condition here. So here I do the computation of the second order derivative. So I don't have any first order part here. So on the right hand side, I just put the second order derivative. So once I invert this matrix here, I get my rho xx is equal to d here when I invert this linear system here. Then my x of nu is equal to x old plus delta t times a. And my rho nu is equal to rho of old plus delta t times diffusion coefficient times rho xx at the point i. So this is here what you can see that rho nu i is rho old of i plus diffusion times delta t times rho xsi. So again after that I do the particle management here adding and removing same as before and then I just assigned old value as a new value, new value as again old value. So x old will be the x new again, x new will be again to the x old, rho new will be again the rho old and then I do the time index so increment. So my next time is t is equal to t plus delta t. So then I go back up to the while do loop of the time integration here. Yeah, so I am back to here. So let us run the code. So it's a very diffusion. So suppose if I had no diffusion here, so this would be my solution here. So now I have given the diffusion. So remember this diffusion equation, I told you that it is just like what you see if you see some brick industry or big industry around you that you have the smoke, it is going up. And then it will decay. Yeah. So when it is going up, then finally what will happen? It will relax and it will be finally the concentration or this will row maybe that concentration. I can write instead of row here, we can write a concentration that will be almost zero. Yeah. That you will see if I take even larger, what will happen? It will be even smoother. So let me see that if I take even larger diffusion here. So I can take too much large because the delta t also should be function of the viscosity uh, diffusion not only with the, the CFL condition. So one has to match both. So if I take larger, so even I get flat. You see, much larger, much flat. If I run longer, so let us take, let us give the, the domain even larger here. So let me give it is minus 6 to plus 6. So I run for longer. Let us check that here we plot minus. So x mean it is x mean to 
x max so here also we run from x min to x max we have fine here so let us check what will happen so if i run longer yeah it is flat so so it is the same now not longer i have not yet run longer so now my t i give like instead of one like two so when the time goes to infinity we should get zero solution yeah so if you when you do go further you get flat and flat flat and flat now let us decrease and let us decrease our diffusion here so we have our diffusion now let me make instead of 0 2 0 1 so we should get more sharp Yeah. So let me increase once more. So much sharper. So here I think my because I have taken much larger my delta x is very large. So maybe I should have taken my just like I have enlarged the domain. So my delta x is. 12 by 100 before it was 4 6 by 100 so now let me take a little bit larger in order to see the better resolution here so we should get uh, much sharper so here i should take also when i compute the numerical uh, exact solution i should take also here 400 so that is a simple technical mistake. So you see that I am adding a removing point. Yeah, you might have seen that some points are added. So we are almost, if it is t, the, the, the viscosity is 0 0.001, so we are almost getting exactly the advection equation with our diffusion. Let me put what will happen when it is 0. So when it is 0, so if, so if the diffusion is zero here, so we should get our earlier scheme that if diffusion is zero, then nothing will happen. So whatever the second order derivative we have computed, we have put it as zero, then our old new value will be old value, we get the exact solution. So there is nothing changed no derivative no partial derivative on the right hand side of differential equation we get the exact solution so i think this uh, in this uh, part we have covered the, the the numerical solution of advection equation and then we have solved with the fully lagrangian form and we have also solved with the ALA arbitrary Eulerian arbitrary Lagrangian Eulerian formulation where we have the arbitrary velocity so that I told in the, in the earlier lecture that you can put any you can split either 1 by 3 uh, plus 2 by 3 or 1 by 4 2 by 4 so you can move with any velocity therefore it is called the arbitrary Lagrangian but Eulerian formulation and then we have seen that the center difference scheme if i have a diffusion diffusion equation so due to the diffusion here the central difference scheme was smooth out oscillation but once i have the central difference scheme for del rho by del x so the solution was oscillating so in order to avoid the oscillation we have computed the opening we have applied the opening idea to approximate derivative there we saw the numerical diffusion so then again what we did that we add they added the numerical diffusion and use again the central difference scheme and we got similar stable solution as the operating scheme so i think we we continue with the next lecture now we finish the linear equation linear advection diffusion equation now we go to the next to the nonlinear equation so thank you very much.